Hey guys, it's Cyrus. Today I'm doing another music recommendations video because I thought that would be fun and I've been listening to a lot of new music lately and some obscure stuff and some well-known stuff so I thought I would film another one of these videos. Alright? Alright. The first recommendation I have is Home of the Strange, the album by Young the Giant. Love this album so much. One of my favorite songs on there is Mr. Know-It-All. I also really love America and Something to Believe in. I just love a lot of the songs on there and they kind of are getting me pumped up for summer, I think they're really summery songs and I'm really excited about them. Another really recent favorite has been Hopeless Fountain Kingdom by Halsey. Ooh, new album! And admittedly, when I heard Now or Never the first time, I was like, ugh. Oh don't really like this. I'm not gonna like blame the artist for changing her style in music because that's stupid but like I can not like music anymore you know. I actually do enjoy quite a few of the songs on that album. I really love Heaven in Hiding and Strangers. It's a good album. I recommend listening to it like in order. It's really cool. I love the prologue. It's so cool. When I heard that I was like screaming. I was ah uh, very cool. Another recent song I discovered is ODD by Hey Violet. I really like it. Uh, it's very cool. I recommend a listen. I really like the last line in that song. If you give it a full listen, it's very, very good. Um, it's fun. It's kind of empowering. It's nice. Another favorite album, like past months, like two months-ish, has been Bolu by um, Tom Rosenthal, who has a YouTube channel and has guested with like Do Dodie and stuff. He's a super cool musician. He reminds me a little bit of Bolin Iver. Iver? Iver? Either. And I just love his stuff. I love Watermelon. I love Don't You Know How Busy and Important I Am because I connect a lot to that song, obviously. But I love that album. It's very nice. Very good indie. Very. Yes, yes, yes. I really love that genre of music, so it's just great. I love how strange some of the songs are, and I really can really get behind that. It's just so cool. Another favorite album, I haven't really listened to the entire album, I don't even think, but I do like quite a few of the songs on there, is What Now from Sylvan Esso. This is another new album. I think it came out this year, and I really love the songs Radio and Just Dancing. I think they're really great, and if you haven't heard Sylvan Esso before, I really recommend it. Very cool stuff and there's a lot of it now because there are two full albums and it's just really great and you can kind of see that style developing from the first album to the second album and that the second album is definitely like it's it's different and it's really good <laughs> I, I really recommend you listen to it okay here's another one this is actually a band it's called Isle of Eight I discovered it yesterday actually um, because another one of my favorite bands recommended it Joshua Powell and the Great Train Robbery haven't listened to them. What are you doing? But Isle of Eight, wow. Wow, wow, wow. They have really great indie rock. Um, really good. Really good stuff. Like, so high quality. I just love it so much. So go listen to them. They're not well known. Very obscure. Go listen to Isle of Eight. Please make your ears have that experience. It's so good. That's kind of all of the music recommendations I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, remember to leave a like and maybe subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. When you like and subscribe, it just lets me enjoy my content and I'll just send you notifications whenever I upload if you press the bell icon. That's pretty much it. Remember to be confident and love yourself. That's all. Bye y'all.